I wrote again. So we're back. So the link worked. Yes. That, that was a good tip by uh, Jeff Jefferson. Great. Good. Wait for everyone. Hello. Okay. We Good evening. Back. We are back. So anybody has any more questions to Claudio? Or Claudio? I, uh, I have a comment. Uh -huh. it's, it's, a, it's a recommendation instead. Don't compare the price with the Cyber Day. Maybe uh, could, uh, could be a uh, a problem for you because in some case uh, had a, the cyber had a best price and you 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 can't uh, buy again a tablet Sorry. don't compare just a question to Jose or Antonio, uh, what is Cyber? Is that a Cyber Day is a um, it's a special day with very uh, very intense um, commerce, e-commerce. Okay, it's got a lot of promotions and offers. Yes. Okay. In general, yes. Se supone, uh, very very um, attractive offers. Okay. But I I have a doubts. Okay. Uh, and Antonio, have you purchased anything from this uh, cyber? Yes, Antonio, ya, a lot of ya things. Com ya compró su presupuesto, ya, perdón, ya gastó su presupuesto. Ya, ya gastó, ya. <laughs> no, uh, I buy a lot of things today and tomorrow and Wednesday is okay. finished cyber days. Oh. And I buy uh, things for my apartment, okay. like domestic things. Um, ah, uh, so okay. And sorry, and everything is new on this site or is second hand? It's new in, in my case. Uh, it's things of the retail, Palabella, Paris, Ripley. Okay, so everybody puts everything. Yes. And, and Claudio, have you purchased a lot of things here? What? What? Have you purchased a lot of things in cyber.cl? Um, if. If I buy something, purchase. Ah uh, no, no, never. I never buy something. Okay. Oh. But the prices I am looking now, uh -huh. prices about tablet, but okay. it's not, not, uh, it's not very interesting prices. Okay. Let's okay. see, let's see. I, I am looking, I'm looking, right? And you, Jose, do you purchase? You're, you are muted. Sorry, I don't see. In my case, I, I never buy anything inside on Cyber Day, but my wife, um, have some recommendation for me uh, for for Christmas for my kids and look at that uh, toy look at that something for Rafael for Fernando and and then I buy. Mm -hmm. Okay. What thing? Uh, a bicycle. Today a bicycle. For Christmas. 
for Rafael for Christmas. And it's not a very uh, a very great offer for me, but it's a saver. Yeah. Twenty uh, percent is not so much. Okay. So if this is if this is only uh, a website that that gathers other websites with promotions. That's all. That's, that's all what cyber is. Una una website que promueve otra website que tienen oferta. Ah, the page we share in the chat. Yes, it's, it's um, uh, the brands of cyber official, but in in each brand, uh, in each yeah. brand um, have a page. For for each. Okay. Yeah, because I see a lot of brands as well, like on the the Porte the outdoors. Yes. So you see a lot of other pages. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice to uh, nice to know. Okay. Any more questions regarding this? Or we shall move to the questions now. Okay, are we ready? Let's start yes. with Jose. So the idea okay. with the questions are easy questions, so we don't forget that. Remember when we started the conversation in July, the more easy the questions, the more quicker we can talk. If we make it too hard, it'll be a little bit more difficult. So let's go with the easy question. Jose, are you a morning person or a night owl? Así se le dicen a las personas de la noche. Búhos. Gárgola. Búhos, sir, en inglés, perdón. Are you a morning person or a night owl? It depends. By some years ago, uh, I have a night person, especially between my divorce. Okay. When I divorced for my first wife, I, I, have, I had a few years um, like a night person. But in these days, um, uh, I am a, um, a day or morning person these days. These days, okay. Uh, that's good. Antonio, uh, you're a, a morning person or a night owl? I'm uh, the man of the night. The man of the night. <laughs> <laughs> The yes, but the, <laughs> but the COVID, uh, uh, COVID, I I switch. Okay, you switch. I okay. switch. Yes, and now uh, the last Thursday, um, we we leave the state state of exception okay. mm. in Chile and there is no uh, toque de queda ah oh, well okay so you can go out at night okay. yes and sorry just just a quick question anybody knows what is the percentage of people vaccinated in Chile? Around 80. 80? No, more. 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 
I think that's more think, something like ninety percent. Let me let me ask Google. Wow! <laughs> oh, Google knows everything. Eighty-five. My. Uh, your bet. Uh, you you you're betting. Yes, 85. my bet. Your eighty-five. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote. <laughs> I think, yeah, between 85 and 90, I think. Yeah. And you wrote are a night person or morning person? I, I used to be, because this is the way we say in various in various conversations, I used to be. Fui? I used to be. Yo era. So I used to be. Yo era. Eh, I used to be a night person. El cerebro funcionaba mejor at night. But then as I got older, I became, I became an, a morning person. So that, that's good, good uh, in English. I used to be and I became. So bueno, practicar okay. muchas cosas. Okay. So yeah, so don't get old, Antonio. Don't get old. Okay, and sorry, so what was the percentage? No, nobody? No? I have a percentage. How many? How many? Can you give me uh, oh, sorry. Yes. permits for chair? Ah, there you go. 88. <laughs> 88. That's pretty good. That's, that's really good. Right? Yes. Me gané la apuesta. Me gané un, un almuerzo. El almuerzo. <laughs> la próxima vez que nos juntemos. El pistano pobre. Okay. The, the poor steak. Okay, ah, that's good. And Claudio, I think I know what you are. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Um, now I am preferably a day person, not night person. Okay. In, in the night, I prefer sleep. Prefer sleep. Too cold. Yes. <laughs> okay, we go again. Jose. Mm -hmm. Easy question. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant? Uh -huh. mm. Let me search the, the name, but because I remember the place physically. Okay. Wait a minute. Just a minute. Sorry, what, what is the question? What is your favorite restaurant? Favorite place? Restaurant. Restaurant. Okay. What is your favorite restaurant? I, I don't remember the name, but uh, it's a restaurant uh, near of Municipalidad de Las Condes. Okay. But and in the second place, uh, uh, there is a, a restaurant in uh, Barrio Bellavista, call it uh, Como Agua para Chocolate. It's a very, very great restaurant. Is inspired in in a movie, como agua para chocolate, or or, or a, a book. Mm -hmm. Call it, call it um, something like that, como agua para chocolate. Okay. It's a thematic restaurant. Okay, and what kind of food they sell there? What types of yes. food? 
is um, Mexican food in general, but uh, Latin American food too. Uh, Venezuelan food and Colombian food, but um, the the book or the movie is a Mexican. Uh, in I remember a uh, very exotic uh, food like um, a combination of flavors. Is I recommend it, but I don't remember. I don't know if in, in this moment is uh, working like in like a, a few hours, a few, a few years. Okay, so you, you don't know if it's still open? Yes. Okay. Ah, nice. Antonio, what is your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant is the Bella Vista in Las Cruces. Las Cruces. Okay. Ah, yes. you, did, you did show pictures of your favorite restaurant, I remember. Yes. Ah. Yes. Okay. Really nice view and the food, a food, uh, see a food, uh, the food yep. in, in this place. Yes. Okay. That's good. Yeah. And I remember it, it was, the price was oh, correct, it was okay. Yes, yes, is uh, is correct. Okay. For the quality. For the quality. Calidad. Okay. Yep. Quality. Yes. Okay. Yeah, good. I have to remember this restaurant. Everyone's restaurant. So when I go back to Chile one day, I will try them. Yes. And Claudio, which which is your favorite restaurant? Okay, I think that my favorite favorite restaurant is the Tanta. It's a it's a one a good restaurant. Tanta. You know? Did you know this restaurant? Yes, I no? know. Right. In the in the in the mall. Yes, the Tanta have many, many places to eat. It's a Peruvian uh, restaurant. Ah, uh, the Peruvian restaurant. Peruvian. Yes. yes. Peruvian. I know, I know Tanta restaurant. Yes, the Peruvian restaurant. Okay. Yes, I have a question. I have a question for Jose. Uh-huh. Uh, you think that uh, your restaurant is expensive or cheap? It's a good question because <laughs> I, I, I knew, I knew the restaurant um, when I was, um, um, ¿cómo se dice novio? Estábamos de novio. Oh, you can say we were dating. Or you can dating? say uh, dating. With with my with my wife uh, in that moment in dating, uh, know that restaurant and in some an a moment. Cuando it's... cuando uno le pone el anillo, eh, se dice fiancé. Y antes, okay. antes de ponerse el anillo son boyfriend o girlfriend. Boyfriend, fiance. When, when I was. Antes, uh, de, antes del anillo. Claro. Ah, and about your question, it depends. But it's no expensive, but it's no cheap. It's in the middle for me. Antonio, for a, share the, the web page. Yes, for, uh, but for a, a plate uh, around
if you if you see the the actual menu yes there is some things Elisa del Pacifico, 25,000 pesos. And another things like Congrio, 13 or 14,000 pesos. Yes, it's around the Bella Vista's restaurant. It's, it's the yes. same. Okay, so this is, this is in Bella Vista. Yes. In the in the limit, uh, rec Recoleta and, and Providencia. But if you see the map, uh, it's in Providencia, uh, but it's very near uh, Recoleta. Barrio Villera. Right on the board. Okay. Well, nice. Um, okay, back to Jose. Uh -huh. Bueno, la idea, la idea de esto, de esto, de, de las preguntas es que nos movamos rápido también para que uh -huh. no tengan okay. participación. Podemos hacer preguntas, pero no más uh -huh. eh, Entonces, sí, all easy, easy questions. How many siblings do you have, José? How many siblings? Sí. Siblings son hermanos o hermanas. Ah, siblings. Me sonaba la pregunta, pero no. I, I have two, two sisters. One, one mayor of me and one minor of me. So one older and one younger. One older and, and one younger. Okay. And they live in the same house, or they live apart? No, um, they live um, with uh, with uh, her families. My my older sister um, have fifty four years old, and uh, they uh, she. He have a one one son and is mayor now. And my my little sister have two kids and they are twelve and fifteen years old. And she lives uh, with with her families. The naughty age. De los malvados, yes, <laughs> the, the naughty age. Right. Ah, interesting. Okay, Antonio. Um, yes, I. How many siblings? How many siblings do you have? Uh, one, an older sister. One older sister. And how old yes. is your older sister? How old is she? Eight uh, years. Eight years. Eight years older. It's than older you. than me. Yes, um, and she lives in in Maipú okay. uh, with my, with her husband and my nephew. So you have a nephew, and what is what is yes. your nephew's name? Uh, his name is Pablo. Okay. Pablo Antonio. Pablo Antonio. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's good. I, I, I am a, I have one nephew and one niece. And they're both seven years old and five years old. I think, uh, I remember. Okay. He's a two years old. Two years it's... old. Yes. The good thing about uncles, the los tíos, a good thing about being an uncle, we can spoil them and we don't get in trouble. Spoil, how is spoil in, in Spanish? Spoil. Uh, cuando le dan de todo.
la traducción es arruinar, pero realmente no, no es arruinar, sino también estropear, puede ser, <ríe> echarse a perder. La idea es que lo podemos echar a perder a los niños porque nosotros somos los tíos. Mientras que los papás y las mamás no, 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 no los dejan. Entonces, es, esa palabra spoil es eh, en inglés. Se usa en inglés bastante. Spoil. Okay. Eh, por ejemplo, si es tu cumpleaños, Antonio, y yo te, yo te digo, I hope your girlfriend spoils you. Pero no es una forma de arruinar, sino es que, 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 te, que te trate bien ese día. Spoil. Claro. Que te dé de se todo. Decir como malcriar, pero como en el buen sentido. En, en como... el buen sentido. Ya. Yeah. Claro, y eso, eso se usa bastante, esta palabra spoil, en todos los ingleses. Esto es todo inglés. ¿Lo, lo podía escribir en el chat? Sí, spoil. A ver. It's like a spoiler without error. <risa> spoil. Así se dice. Y, y a ver, en el verbo dice harm the character, no, tiene ni yo destroy tampoco. No, no dice, pero spoil. A ver si le decimos. Yes, I got it. You got it? Yes. Me dijo, me dijo, no, si yo me estoy yendo de bajo, pues, efectivamente ya chao. Ah, bueno, perdón, perdón, que te haya molestado. Oh. Así perdón, que... Nos cayó para pa abastirle también, entonces. No, sí, bueno. Así que, spoiler, hablando... Ahí volvió Rod. Perdón, perdón. El... ¿Cómo se llama el... el... El, eh, ¿cómo se llama? el NordVPN se, se cambió de, de lugar. ¿El antivirus? No, no, el, como una firewall. Ah. ah. Se cambió de lugar y me, me paró la, la comunicación. Eh, entonces, claro, ese, ese era la, el, el famoso spoil. Ok. Entonces, Claudio, how many siblings do you have? Oh, wow. It's a complex uh, question for me because we are three. We are three siblings for my mother and my father. And my mother <clears throat> have Uh, after the, um, uh, after that she separated from my father, she had uh, three daughters, three daughters. And for this way, I have three uh, sisters. And my father have had two children, two daughters, and I I have two uh, daughters, no, two uh, sisters, two sister plus. In total, I have I have uh, we have uh, I have one, two, five. Five, 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 six, seven. Seven siblings. Seven siblings. Okay. So you have yes. you have step daughter, sorry, step brothers and sisters. And you have your your own uh, siblings. So step step daughter and sorry, step brother and step sister. Step. That's when it's yes. uh When they're not part of your blood. 
that makes sense. I don't understand you. Cuando no son, no son eh, de tu sangre. Yeah. Sorry, the, the step sisters or step brother. Ah, okay. Ah, step, ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think we are done for today. Uh, yes. I think right. it's already 10 de la noche, 10 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, um, mm -hmm. Yes, could you... I I have a thing. Jose, I, mm -hmm. tomorrow I went to Brian, Brain, my mother, to yes. hospital. Right? Yes, I remember. Don't worry. Yes. Go to take your time. Okay, thanks. It looks like everybody's mother. My mother went yesterday to the hospital. <laughs> okay. Uh, I sent everybody, I sent uh, the receipts of the money transfer for this month. Uh, yes. Antonio, I received your payment. Thank you for that. Uh, waiting Perfect. for you, Jose. And Jefferson as well. He, but did you see how the credit works? So I put, I sent it to your email already. So I put uh, September, how many classes and how many, the credit that you had from the day, from the month before. So I put the credit that you had from the month before. Al, a este nuevo mes y lo que hago yo es que le pongo la o sea, son, en octubre son ocho clases uh -huh. entonces son esas ocho clases menos las clases que faltaron el mes pasado y ahí este, es el nuevo monto de este mes para, para entenderse bien para que Perfecto. se entienda y también creo que Claudio les mandó ya la pasada de lista del mes Entonces ahí tú puedes ver, ustedes pueden ver qué, qué día asistieron y qué día no, no fueron. Entonces la idea es hacerlo más transparente el, el mes, o sea, si tienes preguntas o cosas así. Ok. Super, super. Ah, bueno. Ya pues, espero que les guste esta idea de, de lo, a mí, a mí me, me gusta eh, esta idea de las preguntas, porque ahora ya están más rápidos para, para conversar, no sé si ustedes se dan cuenta fluye totalmente sí. más rápido y tan tan fácil como para ver ustedes vayan al video de julio y se ven cómo lo están haciendo comparado con lo que hacen ahora la conversación es más rápida entonces nota. Eh, personalmente me, me gusta me, me está gustando y ustedes están conversando más y, y realmente si quieren hacerlo eso en la casa también pueden ver las películas en inglés Acuérdense que yo estaba nueve horas en el colegio hablando solamente inglés todos los días. Entonces, en seis meses aprendí inglés, pero hasta nueve horas. Ya, totalmente expuesto. Expuesto y sin, sin alguien que me, me, me ¿cómo se llama? Me, eh, me respondiera preguntas en el sentido de cómo se dice esto, cómo se dice eso. Y en, en esa Hay época, que te orientara. Claro, claro en, ese, en, ese, en ese tiempo no teníamos Google, <ríe> Google Translate. Google Translate. Así que, Tal cual. claro, quedamos, siempre quedaba mal. Pero, yes, bien. Y, y, y claro, la idea es tratar de practicarlo todas las semanas. Entonces, si faltan, o sea, en una semana está bien, pero si tratan de venir dos veces a la semana, eh, van a ser más rápido el próximo mes. Y eso... Claro. Y eso, es, eso me pasa a mí también cuando eh, hago la, las cosas de, de, de lenguaje tailandés. Que al fin estamos en el mismo voto. Se están aprendiendo claro. inglés y yo estoy aprendiendo tailandés. Ok. Entonces nos estamos viendo el miércoles. Ok. See you on Wednesday. Ya pues. Hasta. Nos vemos. See you later. See you later. Good night. Good day. Good night. Good night.